Welcome back. Merry Christmas to everybody. Now, my friends call me the Grinch, so that's as much as I would say about Christmas. Don't ask me for anything more than that. Now, let's go straight to the subject of this re review, which is the Manfrotto B3 Live uh, Carbon Fiber Travel uh, Video Tribal. Now, as you can see, it comes with this uh, nice bag. One complaint I have about the bag, put there just one little pocket. You can put there this mini stuff that can be helpful. There's no, there's no pockets inside it. Not a big deal, but I felt uh, I had to say something about it. Now, let's get rid of this. We don't need it. The travel tripod is this big, actually. It's this small. It's 41 centimeters long when it's folded like this and it goes up to uh, 150 centimeters when it's completely uh, deployed. Uh, of course, like all the travel tripod uh, that have a center column, uh, its most uh, compact position comes with the reverse legs and the center column sticking out. So when you take it out of the bag, you have to undo it like this. And then you have the center column sticking out. So what you have to do if you want to uh, carry it outside of the bag, let's just say in a backpack or something, uh, where you want to have it easy to reach and easy to use, then you're gonna put it like this. It's gonna make it a little bit longer, I would say 15 centimeters longer, but it's still fairly co compact. It comes with a fluid head, which is it's the selling point of this, um, tripod, not only a fluid head, but also a leveling ball head. We're going to get to that in a second. And um, it's it weighs 1.4 kilos, 1.38, okay. It's lightweight, but not as lightweight as the series that I reviewed in this video over here or there, never remember. Uh, and of course, it comes with the Manfrotto plate. Um, so if you're, this is the Manfrotto plate, it slides in like this of course and slides in like this you see it's loose uh, but it doesn't come off because it's a, it's got this little button over here that secures it and then if you want to take it out you just have to push it and it comes off uh, as i was saying it's a manfrotto plate then you can secure it with this it's a manfrotto plate now for me i'm using the peak design uh, shoulder strap, con I don't know how, it's, how it's, uh, it's called, but you got me. So in order to not to like go crazy about uh, connecting stuff back and forth, I bought this little um, Arca Swiss uh, thing that I then connect to the to the uh, plate like this. It takes a little bit more uh, space and it, it's uh, a little bit heavier like this, but Convenience comes first to me. That being said, let's talk about uh, the build quality. The build quality is really good. Mine is the carbon fiber version, so uh, I went through the top of the line because I wanted to save uh, a little bit of weight. Uh, the legs mechanism is twist lock, but it requires some kind of effort to take the legs out. It's a four section uh, tripod. Uh, I was used to the Siri uh, that I mentioned before, and just for comparison, I can show you. This is another Siri tripod, but this is this is for another video. But I just wanted to show you what I meant with with that. These are secured right now, okay? Just a little twist, all the legs went down. In a second, it's done. With the Manfrotto, I have to fiddle with it a lot more, and this is annoying. Even more annoying is the center column because you have to twist forever. Then it comes up and when once it's up, you have to twist for more forever than before to make sure that it's secured. Once it's secured, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't wobble. It's a good thing, uh, but it takes forever to set the tripod up. See? Still unscrewing, still unscrewing. Still, now it's up, now it's gone, okay? Now, you uh, you will determine for yourself if it's annoying or, or, or not. To me, it's a little bit annoying. Both the twist lock and this, it's a little bit annoying. But let's go to the uh, 
the selling uh, point of this tripod, which is this uh, leveling ball head and this flu fluid head. The leveling ball head is really important when it comes to video. And this is, remember, this is a videographer first uh, tri tripod. You undo this and you can level your head, you see? You can level it so that if you're in a rough surface and you, it's, it's uh, leveling the legs is always a pain in the butt. So you don't want to do that. And especially it's important for video because if you want a pen, you need to know that your pen is not going to go all, all, all over the place. This little ball leveling ball hand allows you to do that regardless of the position of the leg. So it's really important, again, for, for, for videos. Uh, you also have a ball here that tells you whether you're leveled or not before the head. So it tells you like the base of the tripod is leveled. Now you can pan as much as you want. And then again, you have a fluid head which has two separate uh, knobs to uh, secure the tilting and the uh, pan panning. This one secures the pan, the tilt, and you can see it's fairly smooth, but it's not counterbalanced. That means that there's, if there's a camera on top, you put something on it and you start going this way, the camera will fall like this or backwards if you're going backwards. Same goes for the uh, panning. It is smooth, but it's not uh, geared to uh, counterbalance any movement. This doesn't mean that the camera is going to go all over the place because it's not like the tilt where the weight uh, makes a difference. But what that means is that this is not like the big uh, dedicated video hand that they will go at the same speed no matter what. This one is going to follow this, the speed of your arm. It's going to make it a little bit smooth, it's going to make it smoother, but nonetheless it's going to follow the speed of your arm. That means that uh, you, the pan, unless you're really good at panning uh, and you have a, a really sensitive hand and arm and you're really good at doing it very slowly and very uh, with a constant movement, uh, you will see a little bit of jumps in between. At least for, for me, I saw that and I don't like that too much. Um, on top of that, considering that I'm more a photographer than a videographer, I bought this assuming that I could use it as a photography uh, tripod and it would push me to use a tripod for videos a little bit more to, to have more stabilized videos. But I realized that Again, being a photographer first, uh, I was not using the video head as a video head, but I was using the whole thing as a photography tripod. And it's not as comfortable as the dedicated photography uh, tripod. One thing I forgot to mention, you have a three, uh, three over eight inches uh, threaded connection here where you can use lights, monitors, stuff like that, like something that sticks out to help you uh, with what you're doing. And also you have this little uh, hook over here that you can use for uh, adding weight to help stabilize uh, the, the tripod. And one last thing I think I forgot to tell you is that you can, of course, adjust this, uh, this the position of the handle. So, in conclusion, if um, you're like me, you're more a photographer than a videographer, I would not buy this. Especially because it's not cheap, like it's 240 or 70 euros on Amazon. On the Monfrotto side, it's even more, but it doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> because uh, it's not a great photography tripod. And if you're not using the uh, the video fluid head as you're supposed to, you're basically paying more for something that you, you, you're not using. On the other hand, if you're a videographer first and you care about video more than photography, well then this, and you care also about your weight, the weight and the size, so you're traveling a lot, this is a great, great uh, video travel tripod. Again, mind you, you need to be really good at um, managing your own strength while you're doing the panning or the tilting. Aside from that, 
uh, it's a it's a great uh, com companion for video tri 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 tripod. The thing that I hate and I keep repeating it is how many times you need to turn before everything gets loose and you can uh, set, set it. I would have loved for Manfrotto to just make it a little bit easier like the Sirui uh, tripod R. Other than that, again, construction quality is really good. Everything feels really solid. You can feel that it's not going to fail you. It's going to stay with you and it's going to it's going to be with you. It's not it's not going to wobble. I mean, it's going to wobble if you extend it to its if you deploy it to its maximum height. Yes, it's still going to wobble a bit, but it's really good. The 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 head is good as well. I I mean, I cannot complain too much like the it's really good. It's just not for me. Uh, that's at the end of the day. That's 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 it. And I've used it quite a bit, and it doesn't show sign of wear and tear. It's still as good as it was uh, when I when I took it out of its box uh, the, the the first time. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, since it's Christmas, don't eat too much. I, no, no, no. I'm eating my own words. Eat as much as you can. Because I cannot be the only fat person in, in this in this world. I I need you to get fatter so I don't feel as bad as I'm feeling right now. So eat, eat, eat. But before you eat, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and uh, share this video with those who may be interested. I guess that's it. Enjoy your Christmas time, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Leave me a thumb up, thumbs up.